Hey Wes here, thanks for joining me today. I have a big chunk of clay that I found nearby and I do know that it's clay, but I also know that there's a bunch of other stuff in here as well. So my experiment is to see if I can separate it all out so I have a better understanding of what is in this. So what I have done is I have a bucket with a bunch of clay in it and water. I'm going to stir that all up to get it evenly distributed. And this, I'm going to pour it into my oatmeal container. Hopefully this doesn't go all wrong and create a huge mess. But the idea is that the heavy stuff will go to the bottom, pebbles and things, and then the sand, then the silt, and then on the very top, the really fine particles of clay should get just on the top. Should hopefully let it dry out and be able to cut it apart and visually see how it's all stratified and what amounts I have of different kinds of things. So let's get started. Okay, let's get this stirred up. Put the clay in a day or two ago. Make sure it's all slaked together, evenly distributed. And then let's pour it right in here. That messy. I still have a fair amount of stuff, so let's get that in here too. I think I'm going to stir it up one more time. All right, so that should work. So the plan here is just to let this sit. Uh, for a while and let it settle out. There'll be some water on the top. I'll, I'll just poke a hole, I think, in the side of the uh, cardboard container and drain that water out. Then uh, once it's kind of settled in, I'm going to poke some holes in the very bottom and get that water to drain out. Uh, and hopefully it will dry out relatively soon. So I will come back in a while. This is going to take some time. My cylinder of clay has been drying for a few days. Let's take it apart and see what it looks like. So here is the top. I, the cylinder was a third full, maybe a half full. And so you can see it's just real creamy on the top. And that would be the clay layer. So let's cut this thing totally apart. My fear has always been that this thing would just crumble. But it shrunk away from the side, and so far it's been all right. Let's pull out the old butcher knife and slice her down the middle. And here it's crunchy down on the bottom. So there you go. The very fine clay is up here. And this still is very clay-like here. But then starting about here, it starts getting real gravelly or sandy. And I would guess that probably... From this line this way, that's probably pretty usable clay. Most of the stuff down below is junk. What might be possible is to clean this up a little bit. You might get a little bit more clay out of it, but this is the good stuff right here. And the stuff at the very top, that's probably the best stuff for making slip because it's going to be the finest and silkiest. All right, so... This is really a good example of how levigation works. When you put a bunch of raw clay in a bucket with water and you stir it up, all this really fine, silky stuff gets suspended in the water. And then you pour that off. The heavy, gravelly, sandy, coarse stuff uh, goes to the bottom. And so we're using gravity to separate it all. And you can see that there's some pretty big chunks of stuff. And in some cases, you could clean up the stuff on the very bottom 
and use it as temper. In this case, it's just calcium carbonate and it would cause spalling. So I want to, it's one of the reasons for doing this is to separate that all out. So it's a good example to show what comprises raw clay. Okay, thanks for joining me on this little experiment slash demonstration. Uh, I found it interesting, and if you did too, please give it a thumbs up, a subscription. Those are always appreciated, especially love the comments. And until next time, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings, wishing you health, happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.